All right, you people clearly have some pretty weird taste because you guys absolutely adore Wommel Dogs. I can't really blame you either because they're so freaking cute. Vanilla, what are you up to? Are you just chilling over here? Also, who laid this egg? I have no idea who laid this egg, but let's go ahead and we're gonna collect it. What? 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 Why did the, the core soul of one of our dogs just like roll its way down from the hamster ball or like the little hamster path? Who, who pushed that in there? Like, oh my gosh. Also, sorry, sorry, sorry for like flying around so weird. It's a little hard to navigate around the place. There's a baby tooth just hanging out over here. What, what? I have no idea how the core soul of that dog just managed to like flip its way down here, but let's go ahead and see who it was. We might need to make a little puppy graveyard at this rate. Uh, let's go ahead and memorialize. It's Crumpet! Oh, Bagel and Crumpet, oh my goodness. And then, oh, what, what is happening in here? Why is that clump of dirt? Oh, it's just the way the light's hitting it. All right, meanwhile, Peppermint has come inside of the dog den where there's apparently the foam ham. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and put that away for just a minute. Also, we're gonna put away the dog core and come out. Oh my gosh. All right, let's exit. Oh, vanilla, that's adorable that you're just running around removing. Oh, he's removing the dirt and playing with dirt clumps. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Oh dear, I just yeeted him. I was trying to get in there to try to pet him. Um, now he's kind of like, look at him. Where is he gonna remove that dirt to? Now he's kind of confused and, and feeling a little odd. What? <laughs> All right, where is he moving that dirt up to? That's kind of hilarious. Dude, are you okay? <laughs> he got yeeted so hard that he just ended up way over here, you guys. Oh my gosh. Well, hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where things have been getting pretty weird. And thanks to your guys' help, oh, there's a capsule, a capsule. Yes, we got spiderweb carpet. Oh, I'm so proud of whoever laid that. Also, Vanilla, I don't know what you just ate, but good job. Just go ahead and go, go, go wild. That's fine. But welcome back to Wobble Dogs, you guys, where we have been having a pretty good time with all of our little puppers. We're just gonna praise them for kind of dancing and swaying side to side. Uh, oh, and it looks like Vanilla's ready to pupate already. Vanilla, go ahead and maybe try like eating. Uh, oh, he's just being cute. Vanilla, maybe I want you to eat some moon cheese or something. Here, you go ahead, you, you eat this. You try to eat that moon cheese, have a good time. <laughs> and meanwhile, Mint is going ahead and playing around with hoarding the alien fruit, which is adorable. Oh, and look at this. You can now see the different types. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I am so, so proud of you, little one. Okay. You can now see the different types of foods that the dogs will actually try to hoard and eat. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe try a couple more dehydrated treats. There we go. We'll drag this in here. Let's see. Oh, and thank you guys for letting me know about the scroll wheel, by the way, so that I can lift items up and down. But yes, like I was saying, guys, welcome back to Wobble Dogs, which is extremely weird of a world, but you guys have absolutely adored. What? How did one of my squirrels escape? You guys have been absolutely adoring our adventures in Wobble Dogs. Where's the squirrel? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sorry, little one. You have been adoring our adventures in Wobble Dogs, which make me so ridiculously happy. And I cannot wait to see where our dogs are going to evolve to next to eventually, oh, sorry, little one, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to have you come over here and maybe eat some of these. All right, you go ahead, come over here and eat it. And then we're gonna grab the other one and we're gonna have him try to eat this, the little decorative corn. <laughs> But I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the adventures and you have given me so many tips on how to manage our dogs and oh my gosh There are so many different ways that these dogs can end up growing up. They can end up uh, like Looking you guys have been working on your own wobble dogs. Oh look 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 look. Oh, what are you doing little squirrel? I don't know what you're doing you're dancing. You're, he's doing a little squirrel dance. He's dancing on his own little tail. Why is that so cute? But I'm so glad you've been enjoying these adventures and we're gonna do our best to try to create some really weird dogs. Uh, who was that? Who just yeeted themselves in here? Okay, that's fine. It's Peppermint. Peppermint literally just came in here and decided to go ahead and just like poop. That's that's fine. All right, we'll just go ahead and clean that up. Uh, apparently there's a button somewhere around here. Oh yeah, you have to pet him like this. Peppermint! Oh, <laughs> did we just find Peppermint's itchy spot? 
I think we just found Puppermint's itchy spot. That was adorable. Puppermint, you're so cute. You really are. Maybe we'll go ahead and try breeding Puppermint up with one of the squirrels to make... Oh, it's a happy puppy. Maybe we'll try breeding Puppermint up with one of the squirrels in order to try to make like a small pink squirrel that has Puppermint's bright red pieces. That could be really cute. There you go, Puppermint. Are you pretty happy now? Let's see. I think you're pretty happy. I think you have to like give them pets and let them sleep in order to really make them content. We'll work on that. Puppermint, you are eating poop. That's fine. That's fine. This is what Wobble Dogs is all about. It gets weird. <laughs> but thank you for your tips. This game is so weird and there's so much going on all of the time that uh, I'll just have to try to do our best when it comes to trying to do the breeding and trying to unlock. Very important, by the way, to go ahead and figure out how to unlock all of these. Like, look at this. I can't believe we're already like halfway there on being able to train all of our wobble dogs. But if we do all of these, then it'll unlock even more little features that can help our dogs gain new mutations, new genes, and end up looking completely different. So we're gonna work on that too. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Puppermint, you are being so good. I guess you just ate that baby tooth. You must just be very hungry for anything you can get your hands on. How about we put in some alien fruit? Just in case. There we go. Just in case you want to be green. And speaking of alien fruit, I wish this puppy would go ahead and eat some, but he's hoarding objects, which is very cute too. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it's going to take a while to try to make some very special dogs of our own. We are going to absolutely go ahead and try importing more dogs and having their DNA be bred up in our experiments here. Because that should hopefully... Oops, sorry, little squirrel. Here, why, maybe I need to hoard some cocoons. I've heard if you save a bunch of cocoons and then have a dog eat cocoons, very interesting things happen. Uh, but we'll continue to try to experiment and like create our very own special doggo as... <laughs> you just like slipped right out of there, you little goose bucket. I guess you're tired. You're tired and you want to have something to play with. Hi, guys. I don't know what I just praised you for, but here, maybe if we pet them? Will that make him happy? Okay, let's do pet. Oh, oh, look, our little pupper's just laying on its side because it's so happy. There you go, little one. Was that crouton? Is this crouton? All right, which one's crouton? Okay, that's crouton. Look, now crouton's totally happy because we gave them pets. <gasps> I had no idea giving them little pets would make them so happy. We are finding all of their, oh, look at the happiness meter go up the little play meter. Oh, that's what we needed to do. Pet the little tail, pet the very, very, very tiny little head. Somebody, oh, that's so cute. I think we just wore the little squirrel out. Oh my goodness, that's the tiniest little poop ever. <laughs> I think we just wore out a uh, little crouton. And you guys had a good idea for how we could do potentially a name change. Can I change your name, crouton? Oh, oh, you fell asleep. One bite of the pupa and then you fell asleep. That's so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I have to figure out how I can do like name changes on the puppers um, later. But yes, anyway, I'm trying to say I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. We're going to be importing more dogs to do even more DNA experiments, but we are absolutely also going to try to go ahead and breed up our own special kind of dog. As fun as it is to go ahead and just get the squirrels, we'll go ahead and praise for eating that. Or just grabbing the object. Either one's perfect throwing the object now we're praising for <laughs> but um oh they're so cute they're so cute oh he's barking oh he bork all right we'll go ahead and like that as well and we'll try to praise like good behaviors and eventually get there uh but we will be importing other people's wobble dogs into the future so that we can have an even bigger range of different dna experiments that we can see and dogs to breed together however also we apparently praised for sneezing which is adorable uh we won't just be doing that we will also be trying to breed up a special dog of our very own to offer to all of you did you just smack the other squirrel with your tail what are you doing oh you're trying to sit as a squirrel dog you are trying to sit on the fence you are adorable all right meanwhile what's going on in here you doing okay buddy there we go. Everybody is ready to like go ahead and mutate. So I should probably go ahead and put them in their pupas. 
We will be trying to make a wonderful little puppers of our very own, and I'm gonna go for a green dog! We're gonna try to go maybe for a multi-legged, multi-tailed green dog who has spots. I don't know what we'll achieve. The experiments are going to be pretty diverse, but I think it's gonna be a great time. So we'll import a bunch of dogs, and then we will also try to create our very own special genetics. Yay, good job, eat that. Oh, I praised you for sneezing, not eating. Oh, well. But we'll try, try to make our very own special genetics as well to share with everybody. So all of that little speech done because these wobble dogs distract me. So let's go ahead and we're actually going to let everybody pupate because why not? There we go. And then let's hurry and pet so we can try to encourage as many mutations as possible. There we go, Tiny's up there. Oh, no, no, no. All right, go, 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 go. All right, there we go. Now we need to go ahead and pet Vanilla. There we go, okay, mutation up. Look at all of our little dog cocoons. We have a whole room just like absolutely overflowing and full of dog cocoons. I kind of adore this. Wow. All right, you guys ready? So they're about ready to hatch, and I've heard feeding chrysalises is fantastic. So maybe what I'll do is I'll make another room or I'll block off another little area. Like maybe I'll just start hauling chrysalises in here. All right, you two. It's time for you two to mutate as pup or pupate, I should say, pupate as well. And then Puppermint is the only one who has not gone into the cocoons. <laughs> and we'll just hatch everybody, and maybe we'll make like a new room where it's hard for the dogs to access because we'll put it like the area to it up high. There you go, little crouton one. And little crouton two. Hopefully I can rename you guys somehow. There we go, crouton one, crouton two. Let's build really quickly while we still can. Can I build a new room? I cannot build a new room right now. I think I have to unlock more rooms, unfortunately. Um, So maybe what we'll do is I will connect up here to over here. And then we'll go ahead and we will get rid of this piece. There we go. And that way, if I put all of the pupas in here, oh, hey, there's peppermint, just like yeet. If I put all of the pupas in here, we can try to get our multi-legged dog, which would be really cool. But maybe I could put them all in, you know what, let's make a multi-legged green dog. Um, but now our squirrels are kind of isolated. Hmm. So we could try to do something with them. I might free the squirrels. I might free the squirrels and just let them go wherever they want. And we'll see how that bears out. And we'll just start trying to clean things up. Apparently there's like a clean button, but I have not discovered it yet. So we'll get there when we get there. Uh, oh, what's this? <gasps> Crouton is rude and has very little consideration for other dogs and has high energy. But Crouton number two doesn't? <gasps> That's so interesting because we imported identical clone DNA from them when we got them into our world. So the fact that they have different personalities with the same DNA, that's really cool. We're gonna have to consider what we're gonna do about that. All right, but let's go ahead and have a mass hatching and then we'll, we'll start sorting out the chaos that are our wobble dogs. Peppermint, good boy. Good boy. You're just, you're just laying there. Peppermint, you, you, can, you can have a couple minutes of just being the only, oh, <laughs> We found Pepperminch's itchy spot! We found Pepperminch's itchy spot! Oh, you're adorable! Little head pets! Oh, he likes the head pets. What about little paw pets? There you go. Oh, Pepperminch's so happy. Alright, match hatching time! Mint, go for it! <gasps> Mint, you're so green! Or, oh, excuse me, Celery, you're so green! Yes! Alright, we're, we're deepening the greenery. And also lengthening the, the, oh, you can lengthen the ears. We are so going to need to lengthen those ears. And we're making the body so glossy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> celery. Oh, celery. How I love you. All right. Let's see. We'll get the, the, there. Yeet. Okay. That, that'll work. That'll totally work. We'll just get the squirrels out of there. All right. So that was amazing. Mint, you're up next. Are you going to be more green? Oh, Mint! I actually really love Mint's face. I feel like Mint's body color is kind of going a little bit more blue. That might be really fun too. All right, let's go ahead and get this cocoon. Thank you guys so much for telling me about like how you can use the scroll wheel. We'll get there, there's a lot to learn. 
This is a chaotic laboratory environment after all. Tiny, how you doing? Tiny, look at Tiny's front legs and back legs. <laughs> the front legs are getting so short and the back legs are getting so long. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're, we'll, we'll work with this somehow. I, I worry for Tiny, but Tiny seems to be okay. All right, Vanilla, you're up next. And... Vanilla, you seem to be doing good. Just like normal, normal pup in a lot of ways. It doesn't hurt to have uh, a bit of a normal pup just running around. All right, especially if it gives us any eggs. Oh, it's somebody's soul again! Oh my goodness. All right, Vanilla, you're really happy. Oh, goodbye, Vanilla. Okay, and meanwhile, let's go ahead and put away whoever's soul that is. Peppermint's just like pooping and making a mess everywhere. That's fine. All right. Okay, Tiny, we'll go ahead and praise you for that too. Um, you know what? I might just go ahead and let Tiny maybe, ex whoops, 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 experience the glories of, oh! Cleaning time! All physical objects from the room, food will be destroyed, eggs and seeds will be collected, toys and dog cores will be put away, and unopened capsules will be lost. <gasps> okay, we're not gonna do that yet, but that would be amazing, so that's how you clean up. Thank you, guys. All right, meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna remove this fence for now, and we will we will let Tiny be free. All right, all right, chaos, chaos everywhere. Let's come over here, we'll hatch the croutons. How you doing, little guys? Wee! I hope you're okay from that. And I think the tail may have gotten a little longer. <laughs> the snout has rotated somewhat, and the front legs are getting a little girthier. Oh, 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 oh. No! All right, you know what? This crouton is going to be our little leg attempt crouton. All right, back leg, snout. Okay, so we'll have one crouton be the one who gets to eat all of the cocoons, uh, which means we'll go ahead and destroy any other food type that's in here. And you know what? We can go ahead and build, remove the fencing. And then this crouton will just literally feed nothing but pupa. And I think it should be fine. Is that our rude crouton? It probably is. Are you the rude crouton or the nice crouton? It's the nice crouton. All right, there we go. Goofing off, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> now to make sure that he has multiple legs. But all right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me on the chaos that is Wobble Dogs. I think we're going to do pretty well at doing our best to try to really get our dogs, um, really get them, their unique genetics going. Also, we are about to have a whole bunch of new dogs because of the very useful egg donations that a certain someone, Deck Pine, actually told me about. So expect some new puppers to be born next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our chaotic little pups. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.